There's some really weird and wonderful creatures in the oceans. In this episode, we're gonna check out seven of them. Don't miss the last one, truly amazing. Let's get into it. I think Mother Nature was experimenting when she thought up this creature. The morphology of the batfish is, to say the least, unusual. Batfish are not good swimmers. With their adapted pectoral and pelvic fins, they're more suited to walking on the seabed. The dorsal fin has evolved to become a single projection outward from the head. Called the elysium, it's used as a lure to tempt prey. There are approximately 60 species of batfish. One of them has tried to spruce himself up a bit. The red-lipped batfish. I don't think the lipstick is helping, mate. No, this is not an aquatic muppet. It's a species of tube blenny. They can grow up to 30 centimetres long. With large pectoral fins and smaller pelvic fins, they are mostly scaleless and swim mainly in short darting movements. They usually hide inside shells or crevices in reefs, but are also known to use human trash such as cans and bottles as their hideout. Sometimes called the kissing fish, the sarcastic fringe head is quite aggressive and very territorial. Males will defend their territory against other males, especially during spawning season and when defending eggs. Pressing their huge distended mouths together until one can manage to bite the other's head allows them to determine which is the larger and established dominance. Ambush. One of the best ways to catch a feed. Another, camouflage. Combine the two and you've upped the ante. This creature is clever, patient and lightning fast. The angel shark, so named not for its sweet temperament, but for its appearance. Its pectoral and pelvic fins are large and positioned horizontally. Not to be confused with a ray because of its two dorsal fins and reaching up to 7 feet or 2.1 metres in length, this shark doesn't do too much swimming. Why would you when you can just lie in wait for a meal to amble past? Armed with an extendable jaw, long needle sharp teeth and using suction to snare its prey, fish, crustaceans and assorted mollusks, this shark will hide in the ocean's sediment and wait for dinner to come to him. Siphonophores. Not a single creature, but a colony. 175 species have been discovered so far. Probably the most famous being the Portuguese man of war. The giant siphonophore, however, is the most impressive due to the incredible size that the colony can reach. Found at depths from 700 to 1000 metres off the coasts around the world from the North Atlantic to the South Pacific Oceans, these creatures can reach lengths of up to 50 metres or 160 feet long. That's twice as long as a blue whale. Each section of the colony called zooids has a specific function and cannot survive on their own. Some can force other zooids to contract in times of danger, but most are used for feeding the colony, reproducing, and distributing their digested nutrients to the rest of the colony. The giant siphonophore is an active swimmer and attracts prey with bioluminescence. It uses its long stinging tentacles to immobilize prey such as small fish and crustaceans. and it has no known predators.
Scotoplanes, commonly known as sea pigs, are a genus of deep sea cucumber and are found typically at depths of 1,200 to 5,000 metres, specifically on the abyssal plain in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. The enlarged tubular feet that look like legs have water cavities within the skin which inflate and deflate causing the appendages to move. Their skin contains a toxin called holothurin, so this little piggy is not good for eating. They are known to provide shelter to small crustaceans such as juvenile crabs. Sea pigs can aggregate in large groups. Some groups have been recorded as containing up to 600 individuals. Melib viridis, the vacuum cleaner of the seas. With a body length of about 14 centimetres, it can be found in the Mediterranean and Red Seas, also off the coasts of Phuket, Mozambique and Indonesia. A species of sea slug or nudie branch, it uses its highly extendable veil to trap prey such as small crustaceans, fish and sea snow. Looking like an alien spacecraft coming in for a landing, this monotypic genus of comb jelly has been dubbed the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly. Only discovered in 1979 and described in 2001, it is typically found at a depth of around 250 to 1500 metres deep in the North Pacific Ocean. It can range in colour from black, purple, deep red or pale purple. The red colour of its belly is said to hide their stomach to prevent any consumed prey from lighting them up on the inside, potentially revealing themselves to predators. As the colour red is almost invisible in the blackness of the deep, only the incredible sparkling iridescent colours of the cilia rose can be seen. Thanks for diving in today folks. If you enjoyed today's video give that like button a whack. If you want to see more subscribe. I've got a lot more great content coming up. And remember look after yourself, look after your loved ones, look after this beautiful planet we call home. See you next time.